Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a zip function which is in Python and it is going to be very useful function once we move ahead and once you start working with multiple, I will say, iterables and we have to join them or I will say when we have to combine them. So as the name says, it is going to zip two iterables or more than two iterables and it is going to return you a list of tuples. Okay. So let me talk about first of all the official documentation, then I will sh slowly show you multiple examples, then it will make everything clear. So as you can see, if you talk about Python built in functions, we have one of the function zip function, the moment you open this, so you can see the zip functions will accept iterables and finally it will aggregate the elements from each of the iterables. Okay. Now this is the main part guys, this will be little technical, but I will make it very simple once we move it. So just give me a couple of minutes and we will discuss this each like in detail one by one. So what exactly it says, it will return you a iterator of tuples, which is nothing but a list of tuples in our case, where the ith tuple contains the ith element from each argument sequen uh, sequences or iterables. Okay. And this iterable will stop when input iterable is exhausted. Okay. So it means it will keep on uh, giving you the list of tuples until the list or the whatever iterables you have given, it is not exhausted. Okay. Now very uh, important point. Once again, when you give a single iterable argument, it is going to return a iterator of single tuple. And in case of no arguments, it is going to return an empty iterator. Okay. So we'll come back to this definition once again, once I will show you some examples. Okay. Don't worry if you're not able to understand this, just give me a couple of minutes and you will be able to understand everything. Okay. So first of all, let's just call zip and you can see it is a built in function. So again, in case if you want to cross verify, so what you can do, you can just say print, just type D I R. And here you can just type underscore underscore built-ins. Okay. So the moment you say you want to know built-ins, it is going to return you number of built-ins, which is available in Python. So you can see these are the built-ins we got. So if you just scroll at last, you are going to get this zip function, right? This zip function is exactly which I showed you, which is this one. Okay. So it started with all this one and we got the zip one. Now, once you got this, now let's see. So what I will do, first of all, I will just call print and let me just, just check what exactly this zip. Okay. So I will just type zip and the moment I run this, you can see it's giving you a class. Okay. So just hold on to this point. I will show you. Okay. The moment you open the built-ins.py file, you can see it's a separate class available and the moment you call this zip function, it is going to call this constructor. So do not get confused when we say class because the whatever iterables you will pass, you will be passing here in the constructor itself. So you can see this is the iterables, right? And this is what exactly we are going to get. So the moment you pass any iterables here, it is going to pass in the constructor. Okay. So now let's do one thing. Let me create two different list and let me zip them and then we'll talk about the different uh, situations. So let's say I have a list and let's say I have a list of names. So I will just create few records. Let's say first name is Mukesh. Then I have second record. Let's say Akash and let's say third record, which I want to say, let's say Peter. So this is just a name and let's say I just want to have their marks. So let me store the marks again. So I will say marks, let's say 70 for first one, 80 for second and 90 for the third record. So you can see right now, these are actually two different lists, right? This is one list. This is separate list. Now, if I want to create a zipping or I just want to combine these two lists. Okay. So either I can run a for loop where I will take first element from this list first element from this list and then I will add into another list, right? So that is again a tedious task where I have to iterate both the list and finally I have to create list and add them. So let's call the zip function 
and here you can see it is asking give me the iterables so we have two iterables one is actually both are list so let me pass first of all first iterable which is list then second iterable is the marks so the moment you run this it is going to return you the zip object okay so if you just want to see let me just store this into a variable called data so you can do one thing you can just call a list function and within this list function, you can pass the zip object, which is data in our case. Okay. So you will notice now, let me comment this because we have already seen this is a zip object. Now this is going to return to the exact data. So now I will just make this as my data and let me simply print this. Okay. So you will get to know what exactly data we are getting. The moment you right click run, you can see now I got first of all the list, right? you can see this bracket because I am passing this zip object into list function. Now if you see each record is coming as part of tuple, right? We have seen tuple list in detail in case if you haven't discussed or in case if you haven't visited that videos, please go ahead and watch that videos because that is the base for this example. Okay. So now if you notice how it is doing the zip, it is simply taking the first element from the first list first element from the second list it is creating a tuple for us so you can see mukesh 70 is one of the record which is nothing but a tuple it is taking akas 80 and you can see it's another tuple and third record peter and 90 it's another tuple so the final example is a list of tuple okay so this is very straightforward scenario where we are taking two lists we are zipping them we are getting a zip object that we are converting into a list and finally we are getting the data which is nothing but a list of tuples now let me do one thing let me add one more record here okay so in our case let's add python here so you can see now we have two iterables one is list another is also list but here we have three records here we have four records in this case now let's observe the output so you can see now it is going to again give you the same output because there's no record where it can generate a tuple for you. Okay. So it will only generate the tuple with the valid number of argument. Okay. So it will not give you any error, but you can see we got only three tuples, which was matching earlier. Okay. Okay. 70, Akash, 80 and Peter with 90. So this is another scenario where we, we have two lists, but the number of arguments or the number of values is not matching. Now let me show you another example where you have only list one list and you've still try to call the zip function. What exactly happens? So let's say if I say L one, I'm just taking some dummy name and let me take some numbers. Okay. Some dummy values again. Can I call the zip function? Yes. So I'm just passing L one. So in this case, again, I should get uh, the zip object. Let me convert into a list directly. So I will call the list function and I will pass the zip object here and let me print directly. Okay. Instead of storing into variables, I'm just calling into one into one line. Okay. So you can see still we are getting list of tuples since we have only one list. So it is just having this tuple have only one value. Can you see this? So it works with single list as well. It works with uh, two list. Let's take for example of one more list. Okay. Here I will just take one more list where I will give them some address. Okay. So address I will say, let's say ABC, then second address XYZ and third address. Let's say demo. Now, is it possible to combine more than two lists? Yes. There's no restriction. So you can just pass one more table, which is address and just see the output. Just right click run and you can see. So we got our first tuple, which is Mukesh 70, then ABC. Then you can see the second record Akash 80 XYZ and the last one Peter 90 and with demo, right? You can see how easy it is when you have multiple list. Again, there's no restriction that you can only use list. We can use set and other iterables as well. It is just, I'm giving example of these, um, list. Okay. So let's take another example where we will take multiple set and then we'll try to zip them. So I will just take zip example two. 
and now let's do one thing let's remove this and let's convert into a set okay so this is one set and since we already have seen this part so I will make this also a set okay and third is not required now if I try to zip them and if I say I want to zip name with marks so I will be getting a list of okay so sorry zip function is going to return me zip object so which I will just pass into list okay and I will just do a print here so that we'll get to know the final output okay now simply right click run and you can see it is matching again it says Akash with 80 so this is Akash with 80 then it's taking Peter with 90 and finally Mukesh with 70 okay so you can see since we're using set so we you might not get in the same order but the final output is still the same it is zipping two iterables and it is giving you the zip object that we are converting into list which is giving us the list of tuples right so this is how the zip function works so we will be using the zip functions a lot once we start working with excel file where we have to insert multiple data into excel and so what we will do we'll take multiple list records we will zip them and finally we'll feed into the excel sheet or in the database now the last part is unzipping again it is again since we know it's a list of tuples right so we can simply run a small for loop or we can just do the uh, tuple unpacking and we can do the unzipping okay so let's see how it works for unzipping again let me quickly create another file so that i don't want to confuse you so let's say if i create zip, uh, let's do one thing let's take the first example for the unzipping so this is our file now let me simply do one thing let me remove this additional statement okay it's not required right now and let me remove this additional record as well so right now i have three list name marks and address then we're calling zip function where we are passing name marks address we got the zip object then we are converting into a list right now if you want to unzip this what you can do just type uh, zip and you can see it is asking give me the iterable right now in our case this is our final list right which has the list of tuples that we are going to pass here and you just need to okay just use it this and just say star so now it is going to give all these values and this one we have discussed earlier this is called tuple unpacking right so now i have three records here mukesh 17 abc so now i am going to continue three variables which is a comma b comma c okay now just notice one thing the moment i say print a if i just say print b and if i say print c you will get the values okay so this is, this is called the, uh, unzipping the values can you see when i say print a it means it is only giving me values from my first list since earlier it was a complete tuple so let me do one thing let me print com complete list of tuples or tuples so the moment you run and let's try to expand this so yes you can see this was my first tuple this was my second and this was the third so when we are doing unpacking so all the records from the first tuple is going into a then into b second record and at last third record into c so we got mukesh akash peter which is coming from this and same for marks and same for the address as well right you can see how easy it is it's a very small function but it's very powerful and we will be using a lot with excel right so i hope you got the point okay so let me do a quick recap so that you will get all the points so first of all we discussed that zip function is again a built-in function and we also have seen if you pass simply zip without any iterable it gives you zip object if you pass single list it will still give you zip object if you pass two list or multiple list or multiple any kind of iterable it is going to return you list of tuples that you can iterate 
So here we are doing the same thing. We are iterating, actually we are zipping three different lists. We're converting into list and finally we're printing. Then in the second examples, we have taken set examples. We are combining two sets and finally we are getting the output. In the third example, we have seen how to unzip and we got the values, right? So that's all for this example. So guys, in case if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel, share with your friends. And in case if you have any other question, let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to answer. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.